Hello, hello, and welcome to season three of Yondercraft. Uh, the world is just been pinned up. Um, and what I'm going to be do is I'm going to be recording a very long session and uh, cutting it into several parts. I do only have an hour to record before I have some other responsibilities. Uh, but what I'm hoping to be able to do is to get things like an iron farm up in that time. Uh, so we'll need a pickaxe, and we'll need a, this, a hoe, and a shovel, and then a sword for protection. I didn't make an axe. I don't have enough wood to make an axe. Uh, that sounded like an explosion. Uh, which direction was the village again? I don't recall. I have updated my uh, resource packs. Um, I have the 1.18 vanilla tweaks uh, set up with most of my accessibility stuff for low vision. Um, I also have an aesthetic pack that adds like fireflies and stuff, which I'm really excited about. Hello, egg. And then I have just a few uh, packs for like variated animals and stuff like that. Um, I also have a few uh, mods installed. I have Fabric and Optifine, as well as uh, what am I looking at? <laughs> because what am I looking at is such a wonderful mod. We have a new Beyonder! Uh, Bread Frute is the newest Beyonder for season three. Uh, he is, I think, 16. <laughs> he's a little- he's- I'm gonna say he's a little guy because I am almost 22, but he is not, in fact, actually that little. So, we're going to be cannibalizing this village, uh, because I need items and stuff to make an iron farm. We're- we're going to be speedrunning an iron farm, basically. We need this bed, I should not have broken it with the hoe, but we need it. Alright. Ah, yes. As is customary, I have new socks. I have wonderful new socks because I have received new socks for the winter season. I do this every year. Alright. Wow! First blood! So, Bread is also a content creator. Uh, I believe he streams, which is great. So the iron farm that I am building, if I pull up my source, is designed by ENXO4. Uh, it is a day one build designed to be built, buildable at least, within the first day of your Minecraft world. Um, I don't think I'm going to manage that, just I'm not the kind of person who can manage that, unfortunately. Maybe, potentially. We're already most of the way there when it comes to supplies. Uh, and then all I would have to do is uh, coax the villagers in. Let's see, I want to build this in the spawn chunks, just so it is always running. That would be ideal. Um, the issue is getting the villagers there. I'm pretty sure no one will mind if I build the ugliest boat paths, but I would like to attempt to avoid doing that. Um, it's not going to happen, of course. So I'm going to start collecting some dirt and stuff, and get a path started. Um, I want the server to be as welcoming as possible. I, I want people to not have a hard time when they die. Yes! Perfect. Alright. Here we go. Now I just have to row him all the way over there. This might take some time.
please do not let zombies kill my villager. He is important. This is a farm designed by Wattles. Uh, I am going to put it very close to... Alright, and then they will come up here. Okay. It is very simple. We're gonna start with that. Another thing I'm going to... Oh, okay. Another thing I'm going to do is break these two wood blocks and replace these with trap doors. Villagers cannot open trap doors. And even if they could... They cannot fit uh, underneath them in the way the players can. So the next fun part is I have to get the villagers... I need an axe for this. I have to get the villagers into the breeder. Far simpler than it sounds. We're just going to cut a hole in the side. And I'm going to park the boats in there. And then I'm just going to break them. And because I have these trapdoors here, the villagers will not be able to escape. And then I can simply trap them in there further. Oh, Arrow your cat! My boat! Please do <laughs> no. I have to catch them again. Please get in the boat. Shoot, get in the boat, get in the boat. Boat, boat, it's boat time, it's boat time, it's boat time, it's boat time. Come on, come on. Boat! Yes! Get. Okay. Readers done. Um, I'm going to take the uh, beds from the iron farm because right now I need them here. I'm also going to finish spawn proof. <laughs> okay, and? Alright. Now I'm going to breed up villagers and uh, I will come back once we have enough villagers to put in the farm. Alright, so I have my uh, villagers in the iron farm. They have all slept. I have seen them do so. Uh, I haven't seen or heard it produce a golem yet. Not sure why. Uh, I updated the uh, it's out of suffocation now. I got my hands on a bucket of lava, so now it burns them. Which just about doubles the rates, I believe. And then I added a hopper and a chest. Uh... So now what I'm going to do is, I got my dirt, yeah that's been happening, uh, we got our dirt, we got our little AFK chamber, I'm gonna AFK for about an hour, uh, and once I know what I'm sort of dealing with, uh, with regards to how much iron it produces, uh, we'll be back, and we'll get on to the second project that I want to start this episode. So, I accidentally AFK'd a fair bit longer than an hour, uh, because when I came back, um, I forgot that I had been AFKing for iron, and immediately left to, uh, to go get some stuff. I found a lot of, uh, prismarine and, uh, chests and stuff. Um, I would say this is pretty functional, though, because I know the other Beyonders have been using the iron. Um, so I'm going to consider this a massive success, uh, and something I will probably be doing to start up most, if not all, seasons. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and- oh, D. Let's say hello to D. We're gonna go ahead and restock this chest. I'll, I'll put some of my own goodies in here right now. Uh, seems to be wildly popular. Uh, so, my next sort of goal, quote-unquote, uh, for getting spawn set up is uh, we're gonna collect some eggs and we're gonna build a quick and dirty chicken farm uh, so that people have cooked chicken because I have access to lava now that I have bucket. Uh, so I'm going to get sticks, refill that, and get some blocks to- oh is that- is that chicky? That's D! Hello D! Oh yeah, fight that creeper, let's go. Oh no! Uh, L. 
Alright, so I'm gonna get some blocks, uh, and some eggs, and restock that chest, and then we're gonna build a chicken farm. Alright, uh, no clue where the last clip left off because I had a reaction to my medication, um, and don't remember most of last night. Uh, but it would appear the chicken farm is done because it is in fact functional. Uh, there's a lot of chickens up- oh, and all the chickens that were here I culled, uh, because you don't need chickens there when you have chickens here. Uh, I'm just gonna kinda keep breeding these guys until we get just a large amount of chickens until we start getting, like, uh, any cramming happening. Um, so there have been a few changes. Uh, I used to the I used some iron from the iron farm to get some anvils going. Uh, sugar farm stuff like that will be relevant in a hot minute. We have a Fletcher here who takes sticks for emeralds. Um, he'll take feathers eventually. Uh, the point of him is that's eventually going to produce a lot of feathers. Over here, I expanded the sugar farm by one, and it is taking a lot longer to grow than I thought it would. Probably because I'm not hit. I think this is just outside spawn chunks. Um, so it's not growing like the crops would. Uh, that's, that's, it's fine, honestly. I'm just using it for paper to try and get this to a level 30 enchant setup. I'm trying to be a good server mate. Make sure my. My friends, my pals, have all the stuff they'll need. Something else that I did begin, but have not quite finished yet. Um, you'll notice there's water there, and that's how I've been getting up and down. Climbing was getting old. Uh, flattened a little bit of this area, and we've now got plans for a tree farm here. I'm going to make it mostly out of brick. Uh, and if we go up into my little dugout uh, here, um, I'm pretty sure the lighting has changed since the last time you saw it, if I even showed it to you, uh, because my last memory of it was it having a lantern hanging from the ceiling, and now it's lit by glow lichen. Uh, looks a lot better if you ask me. I've got bricks smelting up here. Please pardon my alarms. F. I have bricks smelting up here, and I've decided that my favorite early game fuel is uh, lava buckets. So I'm gonna finish getting supplies for the tree farm, and then I'm gonna set it up, uh, and then we'll see what other starter farms I want to get going. All right, this is the finished uh, build. It looks a little top heavy, but I don't care. It's not supposed to be super pretty. Uh, it's also not supposed to be super efficient. Um, I know you don't see a lot of these uh, built where the trees grow indoors, but I used to see a few uh, back in like 2012-2013. I uh, thought I'd channel that. Hello, spider. Uh, we got different floors for each uh, tree. Not a lot of saplings of all of them, but you know, doing our best. Uh, I'm going to use birch for the ceiling, but I don't have enough birch to do that yet, so it's not done. Uh, let's see. See, did anything else interesting happen? Anything I can... Sort of document before we gotta close out this episode. Uh, I might force all of the uh, spawn buildings of like community farms and stuff to be built in this general style. Stone brick, oak, or uh, smooth, smooth stone, brick, and uh, oak. Just because a lot of these are not particularly pretty at the moment. Uh, oh, right. I did do some other, uh, rather, productive stuff. We have a man who will buy iron now, and he'll uh, give you these in return. I have set up for another one, but uh, I do not yet have another one. Uh, if we go over here... We have a Fletcher. We have him because eventually he will uh, purchase the feathers that we get from this. 
chicken farm. He don't do it yet, but he will. I, I gotta trade with him more. Uh, he, he's a little frustrating to trade with. Um, sell some more iron. Now it does get you a fair bit, but you can only do it twice a day. So I want to see. I want to get more. Uh, actually, I think I left some emeralds in the chest over here. I want to get more uh, toolsmiths and like weaponsmiths and stuff. do good stuff with them. Alright. Um, I can see that my uh, resource pack for visible enchants is not working. So I'll have to troubleshoot that. Uh, but what we're going to do in the meantime is we're going to make a killing machine. And uh, right where you at? <laughs> I see my friend. I have a special gift for you. Come here. Come here. Down here. Down here. Yes! Thank y'all for watching. If you're part of the morning crew, I hope you have a great day. If you're part of the evening crew, I hope your day has been great. And if you're part of the afternoon crew, well, I hope your day is going all right. I've been Ruby Robotic, and I'll catch y'all in the next episode.